Now this guy runs, but he makes a lot of noise, so I don't use him too much, so I decided to use him as a running experiment. Those purple legs on its back are actually from a defunct hex bug that I, a hex bug V1, that I fell on the floor and I trod on it and uh, basically doesn't work anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in this very simple setup, how well it's doing at climbing and how perhaps successful I've been. So obviously Hexbug V2 can climb this, no point showing you that. What I'm gonna do is quickly pop a Hexbug V1 and let you see how far up the curve it can climb. So you can see there, they struggle, they try, they really wanna climb, but they cannot get out of there. What I'm gonna do now is pop my Hexbug V2 in, Hexbug 1.1 in, so he makes a noise, that was always his fault. Put him alongside 1.1 and he's all, what, version one. My 1.1 has already overtaken him and he's got his nose pretty much at the top there. So he runs around like a normal Hexbug, I've done nothing special to him, the same motor, he just makes a bit of noise. I think the uh, the motor mechanism in here has become a bit loose because if I hold it snug, it doesn't make that silly noise. But as you can see, I'm already getting to the point where he can pretty much climb. So as you can see, I've already popped three, I've glued three, I shouldn't say pop. They are definitely glued, so it's super glue and I've tried to get the angle to match the V2s. And the problem is doing that, I haven't been able to do exactly the same because as you can see, the V1s have got a, more of a humped back and the V2s are quite flat. So I'm finding it quite difficult to actually get something that hit, fits on this hump here in the same position as the V2. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.